What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com and today I'm bringing you guys a video that's hopefully going to help some people out. Um, I want to talk about the Pixel 2, the smaller Pixel 2 versus the Pixel 2 XL. And in the wake of all the display problems with the Pixel 2 XL, if you haven't seen what's going on with the display issues on the Pixel 2 XL, you can go over and check out my videos. I've covered it pretty extensively. Um, there's a lot of them and I've made quite a few videos. But a lot of people have been asking, should I get the smaller Pixel 2 um, as an alternative to the Pixel 2 XL uh, it's because of those display issues? So I wanted to address that in the video today. Now obviously, there's a huge size difference between the two phones, also the aspect ratio difference. So the size, of, so of course, itself is something to consider. You know, can you go from a 18 by 9, 6 inch P OLED display to the 5 inch 1080p uh, Samsung AMOLED display. Now, obviously, in my opinion, I've spoke on this before, I think the quality actually in terms of the colors, the viewing angles, and everything is better on the smaller Pixel made by Samsung versus the LG P OLED panel on the Pixel 2 XL. So I think you're getting a better quality display, but there's some other things to consider. First of all, is this display going to be big enough for you? Obviously, you can see side by side it's a pretty small display and also you can see the bezels are very large. Now, bezels don't personally bother me. Uh, getting rid of bezels has been a big deal in 2017, obviously. So a lot of people say, you know, the smaller Pixel 2 looks like a phone from 2016. And I guess in the sense that it has pretty big bezels, that might be true, but because the quality of the panel is better, I don't really care. Also, you're getting 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is still the native aspect ratio for most media, YouTube videos, etc. I think that's a plus as well, personally. Now, you're not losing anything in terms of sound because the stereo speakers right there, you can see on the front, you've got stereo speakers on both phones. And I've actually tested them, and the stereo speakers are equally loud on both of the phones for the most part, especially when watching videos. They're very clear. They're a very good set of speakers. Actually, uh, Stephen Hall over at 9to5Google did a little testing, and one of the speakers is actually a little bit lower on the Pixel 2 XL uh, than the other. I haven't noticed that issue on the smaller Pixel 2. So I think you're actually not sacrificing anything with that front audio either. Now, when we talk about the build quality, there is something to mention there. I talked about in my Pixel 2 uh, unboxing video, the coating that's on the back of the blue version, this is not true of the black smaller pixel, but if you want to get the kind of blue version, which I really am fond of the color, it's got a very cheap feeling coating, which kind of feels like the LG G5, which I actually compared it to. It's not quite as bad as the G5, but it's something to be aware of if you're not going to use a case. I personally use a case on all my phones, so for me it's not really a big deal, but I personally think the black one feels better, so if you're going to get a Pixel 2 smaller one and you want a nicer feeling back, this one's got more texture to it, feels more premium, it's just nicer. Um, fingerprint sensor, they're both the same pretty much. I mean, everything else looks the same on the back. The cameras are the same. You can see the flash has changed on the two versions, the XL versus the smaller Pixel 2. Uh, you've got all the same internal specs, Snapdragon 835, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, all of that stuff's going to be the same, same software experience. Both of them are super smooth phones, um, so you're really not giving up anything in the software department. Like I said, it really kind of comes down to, do you want a better display at the cost of having a smaller total screen real estate, um, a smaller form factor, which I actually think is nice because it's a lot easier to you know, answer emails, text messages, so a better quality display, smaller form factor, and the bigger bezels. The blue color also is exclusive, so if you want the blue color, it's exclusive to the smaller phone, that's another possible reason. Uh, so just some overall thoughts on the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL after having them for almost a week. I can tell you the camera is amazing on both of these phones. Like I said, same camera on both of them. So again, I showed some shots before. I've just been utterly impressed with portrait mode on this phone both the portrait mode on the rear and front facing cameras has been superb in all the shots that I've taken. You guys can see some examples there. Uh, so I don't think you're giving up anything other than, you know, basically the size. Now another question, of course, the final thing is battery life. Uh, both of them have quick charge 3.0 through USB type C here on the bottom. But of course, the smaller one has a smaller battery, um, but the smaller screen as well, and it's 1080p. So in my opinion, you don't give up that much battery life. I've gotten about five hours screen on time average on the Pixel 2 XL. 
I've gotten between four hours and four and a half hours on the smaller Pixel 2. So I definitely think Android Oreo's efficiency along with the 1080p panel helps compensate for the smaller battery. So if you're worried about going from the smaller phone to the larger one because you need the extra battery life, I don't think that's a concern at all. So at the end of the day, just choose what your priorities are in terms of your size and the display quality. Um, and don't worry too much about battery life or giving up anything else in terms of the overall specs. It's really about that display, the form factor, the aspect ratio, and where you stand on those issues. All right, guys, so I hope I've given you a nice little comparison just to address some of the questions people have had about you know, buying the smaller one over the larger one. It's also $200 cheaper, so that's something to consider, of course, as well. Save $200 bucks by getting the smaller phone. If you guys want to find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter, cover everything Android at all of those places. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification icon so you can get future videos like this. I really appreciate guys checking out this one. And of course, I will have future coverage of the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL continuing this week on the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.